Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. We are continuing with our mixed dentition, that is we covered first transitional phase. So it was divided into first transitional, intertransitional and second transitional period. So the first transitional period where the primate space was utilized by the molars and it was known as early mesial shift. So what is happening in intertransitional phase? So first transitional phase, other changes are happening. Uh, the operate of uh, maxillary incisors, that is incisor liability is there. And in intertransitional phase, it is uh, basically a stable phase. And it lasts for around uh, 1.5 years. Uh, 1.5 years during this time. The mouth consists of permanent incisors, first permanent molars, that is it includes both central and lateral and primary canines and primary molars. Okay, so it will be like this one, two, C, D, E and six. So central permanent, lateral permanent, deciduous canine, deciduous first molar, deciduous second molar and permanent first molar. So this period lasts around 1.5 years. So and it is quite stable phase with uh, no um, visible changes occurring in the dentition. Okay. So teeth present are uh, permanent incisors and molars and primary canines and primary molars so the minor changes which is happening during this 1.5 years is the tongue will pushes the mandibular lateral incisor to its final position and also there is a small discrepancy correction by the lips so the lip movements and tongue movements will uh, correct the alignment uh, minor corrections will be done and there will be mesial drift of mandibular teeth and without any fixed intercusp relationship still there will be a mesial drift of mandibular teeth okay so that is intertransitional period so mixed transition was divided into first transitional intertransitional and second transitional so whereas the second transitional phase where it is uh, characterized by the replacement of primary molars and canines by the premolars and permanent canines okay so it was like this one two then c d e six will be one two three four five and six so c d e will be replaced by four five and three three four five so during this time the late mesial shift is happening that is using the leeway space so leeway space is nothing but the distance or the uh, difference in mesiodistal diameter of these two teeth that is the primary canine and molars uh, against permanent canine and premolars so if uh, the space is not available to accommodate the permanent molars the teeth uses leeway space that happens during the second transitional phase so this uh, space is around 1.8 millimeter in maxilla that is 0.9 point nine in either arch i mean uh, the uh, half of the arch and 3.4 millimeter in mandible right and left side so the change in exchange of this set of teeth will uh, ultimately remove all the deciduous teeth and now we have only permanent teeth so we are moving to the permanent dentition phase 
So there are many features which are uh, getting corrected in second translational phase. The main one is uh, the duckling stage. So we have seen the broadband phenomena, broadband phenomena or the ugly duckling stage. So ugly duckling stage will be corrected. When it will be corrected? When the eruption of canine, the complete eruption of canine happens. So the canine will push the lateral incisor back to its original position and it will be perfectly aligned. Okay, before it was central incisor is diverged, lateral incisor is diverged because the canine is pushing the lateral incisor at the root position. So there will be distal movement of the central and lateral incisor. So once the canine completely erupts, the force will be transferred to the crown region and it pushes to the mesial side and all teeth will be perfectly arranged. So the correction of uh, broadband phenomena or ugly duckling stage happens during this period that is second uh, transitional period and also this arch which uh, loses the roundness so we know the gum pads and the deciduous um, arch are more of a uh, rounded appearance so it loses its roundness and the most common sequence of eruption is uh, 4, 3, 5 in maxilla that is first premolar, canine and second premolar whereas the mandible is 3, 4, 5 that is canine, first premolar and second premolar. So this sequence is essential to prevent crowding and utilizing the leeway space. Okay. And the dental arch length and arch circumference decreases with the mesial force. So that was uh, about the second transitional phase and by second transitional phase all the deciduous teeth are mm, exfoliated and now we have only permanent teeth so this uh, three phases is very important uh, in uh, exam point of view because you can expect a lot of questions these three phases the common questions are uh, can expect primate space primate space then leeway space is another question then incisal liability is another question incisal liability then the ugly duckling stage is another question which is also known as broadband phenomena so leeway space and the mesial shift is another question mesial shift that is early mesial shift and late mesial shift so all these are uh, short notes and this mixed dentation period uh, could be asked as a short essay also uh, prime, pr the first inter and second transitional phase you need to write in detail and the first transitional phase have that the uh, molar relationship uh, the mesial step distal step uh, the end tone relationship and flesh terminal plane that also could be a question flesh terminal plane or mesial step could be mesial step and down relationship and distal step all could be short notes and this extendation could be a long essay or short essay so i'll come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you